This episode is brought to you by LL Flooring. LL Flooring offers over 400 floors in both the latest styles and timeless looks, from hardwood and laminate to waterproof flooring. There's a floor for any style and for every budget. So visit the experts at your local store or go to llflooring.com forward slash pro. These are the floors homes are built on. Welcome to another episode of Behind the Studs, your home improvement and remodeling podcast, where the two most entertaining guys discuss the do's and don'ts in home construction and in the remodeling industry. Remember that you can nail it, paint it, or just tune into the show. How about that? Uh, here are your hosts, Colin Shaw and Jimmy Driscoll. Hello there. How are you? I'm sitting next to Saw 2. <laughs> I am drunk Santa. Dude, that is like, that <laughs> that is nice? like a sick... That's yeah, sick looking. <laughs> See, now I'm gonna have to wear it next year. Oh my god! Everybody's like, like, "Why are you wearing a mask?" Yeah. Because yeah. I'm Santa. Oh my god! <laughs> that is fucking. That's spooky. Is, is it spooky? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. A little Chucky. Little kids would not like that at all. The kids yeah. would not like that at all. <laughs> well, we can't please all the kids. Anyway, so what yeah. are you up to? Um. We were supposed to have our buddy John Sweeney on the show. He had yep. to cancel, but he's going to be back on. He is a right. do-it-yourselfer. He built his own house in Florida. Yeah, I'm built dying it from the ground up. Yeah. yeah. Um, got some funny stories, too. I'm sure. And um, he did it amongst the whole COVID material Jeez. shortage down there. In, really? Down south. Wow. Yeah. He made it work. Wow. He's an ex-Green Beret. Um, former Green Beret, I should say. Not ex, but former Green Beret. Um, he's retired, and he's making his dream house down there. He used to live in Connecticut. Oh, very cool. Yeah. So, so he has, like, no experience doing this sort of stuff? Well, kind of. He worked with me a couple of did painting and stuff. But okay. he was a, you know, he was a Green Beret, so he had to learn how to do a lot of things. Right, and he right, actually right. applied it. So he's done framing framing hmm. work, and he can do electrical, he can do plumbing, he nice. can do it all. Wow. Good yeah. for him. Yeah. So, he's better than me. Yeah, he talked with me the other day, and he was telling me the freaking story. And I, I, I can't even repeat it right now. <laughs> he has to tell it because <laughs> it is so freaking funny the way he told it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, in true well, cool. story. Oh, yeah. True story. Cool. Well, hopefully you can join us. Are we doing a show next week? Uh, in between the holidays? I don't think we did last year. I don't know. Did we? I don't know. I feel like we did take a little bit of time off. Uh, I don't know. Well, we'll figure it out. All right. If we would feel like being jolly and giving people a show, we'll give them a show. <laughs> and if I'm still being a Grinch that many days after Christmas. Hey, I don't, you're not a Grinch, dude. Oh. I, you don't get... We, yeah? Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. There you go. There you have it. <laughs> Ask anybody I know. <laughs> they will tell you. Uh, it, my daughter, I still remember. I think she was maybe 17 or 18. She's like, so you were lying all these years? I'm like, yeah. She's like, you really hate Christmas? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah. I said I did a good job faking it, too, yeah. for a long so, time. For all you homeowners, don't start any projects like I'm going to do on Saturday. Oh, no. What are you doing? I got to fix my... Um, my bladder tank, not my bladder, but my bladder tank right. that's coming into my house. Yeah. You know, the yep. expansion tank. Yep. It is leaking at the check valve coming Ooh. in from the well. Okay. I got a little leak. Yeah. So my buddy's coming in there. Plumber is going to go in there. He's going to fix it. Nice. Gonna just take it apart, redope it, and put it back together. It's running out of dope. Ah. Uh, don't want to run over, <laughs> don't want to run out of dope over it's the holidays. Not, not around the holidays. You need plenty of dope. But please, <laughs> Lord, make sure nothing goes wrong when he puts it back together because, you know, we yeah, do it Saturday. So. Oh, God. But have to get this the only time we can get it done. Yeah. So that's what we're do. He's flat out too, huh? Yeah, yeah. They're yeah, all flat they out are. right now. They yep. are. Uh, I just talked on my way over here. Yeah. Uh, it has to do with construction. Okay. But I, he's a good friend of mine, Pat Maloney. We actually grew up together. We have, uh, He was my roommate, and he also played in the band with me. Well, he was, oh, the, cool. he was the road manager back in the, the days when I was playing my cover band. Okay. And uh, he got involved in commercial construction. Oh. Um. And we had a really nice long talk about our lives uh, a while back because his birthday is close to mine. We had a birthday dinner, and he was telling me, he goes, yeah, Jimmy, your job is a lot different than mine. My job is just mechanical. You're emotional. And I go, yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. You know, no, just, it is. That is the difference between commercial and residential. Well, he just built in Massachusetts. Um, he was explaining to me, he, they just built, and um, he got called. It was the government that called him, actually. Army Corps of Engineers and everybody else. He built mm. an 80,000-square-foot lab. Holy cow. It takes a year to build it. He did it with his crew in f- three or four months. Really? Yeah. Wow. It was a $10 million project. So I says, well, what kind of 
what kind of building is this? He goes, it's a biotech lab. And it's hmm. actually, hmm. the government actually built it for the COVID. Oh, really? So now what they do in this building is that they will, it's, he goes, he said, how can I say, it's like, it's like, a, it's like a distillery. Mm. It's where they produce the vaccines. Oh, wow. So when they go in there, they can, it's, um, yeah, it's like a distillery where they're going to manufacture the, the, the vaccine. Wow. For the COVID. Oh, wow. Cool. So he's pretty proud of that. I would be. Yeah. And he said it was amazing. He said, when the government wants to get something done, they just, they just get in there and goes, sure. they, they had my back the whole way. Wow. If they ran into any problems, they would just say, we got this. And make really? a phone call next day, boom, they're back at it. Wow. They were back into it. <clears throat> because, you know, in those, in those kind of jobs, um, you, you know, you never know what can go wrong. Sure. But, you know, they got such a crew of people that are working on things like that. They, um, From what I talked with them about it, it was a pretty amazing Amazing feat. Yeah. That they did. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Good for them. Yeah. That was probably an amazing experience for yeah. them. Yeah. So listen to this one. I just talked to my friend, my buddy guy. All not, right. Not buddy guy, but my buddy guy, <laughs> Murph. Is buddy guy still alive? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's really? rocking, right. dude. Okay. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. So <clears throat> he got called in to do a uh, troubleshoot a job. They were doing an industrial. This is another industrial job. But the when they pour the floors... He was trying to explain it to me. When they pour a floor, like in a building, mm -hmm. that the water has to go down or the water has to go up. Basically, when you mix cement in water and mm -hmm. then you spin it out, you, you're kind of sucking the water up yep. to the surface yep. you know, to make the so-called cream, and then they do whatever they got to do. Yep. Well, somehow it poured incorrectly and the water went down. It didn't come up. Really? So listen to this. He's, he says... It's not something that I do, but I'm learning how to do it now. Mm -hmm. And it's a, I think he said it was called a delaminate process. Okay. And what happened was they built the building. They got up to whatever floors they were getting up to. Mm -hmm. Everything is in. Doors, cabinets, furniture, everything. Yeah. The flooring guys, the flooring guys come in to do the flooring. And they test the floor. And there's pockets. Ooh. So there's, there is like air pockets in the cement. Yeesh. And he said, how do you find that out? He goes, you take a chain, you roll it across the floor. Yeah. And if they hear the hollow spots, they got to go in, they got to chisel all that out, refill it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So the floor will stand up. Wow. You know, these industrial floors. Yeah, put in. yeah, yeah. So he's going to keep me posted on that. How that, if, I've never Jeez. heard anything like that no, before. No, I've never, never heard like that either. So there's like pockets in the cement that huh. they have to pop and refill. Wow. That's going to be a big job. I was going to say, that's going to cost somebody some money. Mm-hmm. And it's well, not even probably your fault, right? And maybe it was just the mix or something. Yeah, yeah, something happened. But they, you know, wow, for the flooring guys Jeez. to to. Keep what did they the do? Like a moisture test too, or do you, do no? You that's all done with the yeah. state. And once they okay. pour it, they check it right away. Yeah, you know they they have to check that right away. The guys from the state are right there. You know they, yeah. they have the they have the columns right there. They have yeah, the yeah, testing kits. Yeah, they send them out. Huh? No, that the 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 mix was right. Yeah, it was the way it was applied or was or was processed once it was mm. into into the. Flooring when they were doing the flooring. Yeah. Oops, For wait. some people who don't know, when they pour an industrial floor up in the air, it's like a big pan. Is you know the steel. You got the, mm -hmm. the steel, and you got the grids, and you got the um, uh, the wire that's in there. And then mm -hmm. they come in with the cement truck, and they pour it in there, and they mix it, and then they then they uh, float it. Yeah. Oh, so that that's interesting. I can't wait to hear what the outcome result that's going to be. Wow. Mm. But speaking of cement floors, mm -hmm. um. People, are gonna, if you're going to sell your house, you're planning on selling your house. If you go and if you have a, a garage that's attached to the house, <clears throat> like some people who have raised ranches, you'll have mm -hmm. the garage and you go and sell. Check your lolly columns. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't check the lolly columns. All they, right. they, you, they walk right by them. Yeah, when they put your lolly column in, those lolly column is that that big round post that you have that's you that know, you bang your door into when you yeah try to open exactly up your car to or get everything out of else. The garage, right. Yeah. And it's basically it's a steel pipe. And they fill it with concrete, mm -hmm. and that's the one that that's what holds the beams up in your house. Right. Yep. You'll see them in, in your can. basement. You'll see them in the garage. Yeah. Yep. Right. Yep. Well, when you, you go in for an inspection, the inspectors look at those right away because it's only a primer that's on them. Mm -hmm. But if it's sitting in wet, it's steel, it's rusted. Yep. And they rot out. Yep. And if you if you're looking at the bottom of your lolly columns and you're seeing them flake, that's eating away into the cement 
Now, the cement on the inside of the lolly column is just there to support the steel. It does, really doesn't carry the weight. It's the steel and the cement together that carry the weight. Once the steel is gone on the bottom, the cement will crumble. So you have to replace those lolly columns. Hmm. Yeah. And yeah that ain't easy. Yeah. And my buddy's got two of them. They're totally rotted. Really? Well, you got a jack, just a hair. I've done them. I do them all the time. Yeah. And my buddy asked me, he goes, how do you, how do you make such an even cut? Yeah. On the, um, you know, if I don't have the, the tool to cut the lolly column, yeah. It's like a pipe cutter. Yeah. How do you do it? And he says, I do it with a rope. Really? Yeah. So I'll mark the bottom. Yeah. So say if I have to go 87 inches. Yeah. I'll go all the way around with a magic marker and pull up from the bottom and mark 87 inches. Right. Mm -hmm. And then I'll twist it, mark it again, twist it, mark it again, twist it, mark it again. Then I'll take a piece of rope and I wrap it around the lolly column. Okay. And then I just magic mark around the around the rope. Hmm. So it's a nice, and then I use a grinder. Yeah. My Milwaukee battery powered grinder, <laughs> steel grinder. Yeah. Cuts that thing. Once you cut the steel, it, the rest goes a, easier. Yeah. Yeah. You just hit it with a rubber mallet. Yeah. Boom. Breaks off like nothing. Yeah. Easy. So that goes to prove you, you know, like there's no strength in it. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You cut that steel, that cement just comes right off. Right. You know. <clears throat> so yeah, I those suggest. Are, those are scary. So I suggest people when you get your Lolly columns, you move into your house, paint them. Yeah. Paint them with a, with a Rust-Oleum, and you will add l years, mm. a, a lot of life to your lolly columns because you don't want to replace those. No. Do you know what they cost? Some, I, I won't say the company. Some guy charges like, you see him on TV once in a while. They're like 1100 to $1,500 a lolly column. What? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. Yeah. But they do that. What do they, they got in them? Um, it's paying for their advertising on TV. I guess so. It is. Yeah. All those companies. All those companies, you're all you're paying top dollar. Sure. You're paying for their advertising. Right. Now, do you get yours at the box stores? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep, me too. Um, th 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 There's really not a big difference in prices, too, if you get them from your local lumberyard. They're pretty much the same thing. Yeah. You know? Sometimes... Sometimes they're actually cheaper at the lumberyard. Mm -hmm. I know. I find that the doors yep. are just about the same price. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah, you're right. Lows. Yep. You're right. So they're high, you know, good competition. It's, a, it's weird how, how they jack some prices higher than others. I know. I don't get that. No. Get it at all. There's no rhyme or reason. I can't believe how much screws are now. <laughs> yeah. I know. Fasteners. Yeah. 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 It's. Who it, decided it, to change that? Um, the country that manufactures them they all got together and said hey let's go well there's one in particular so yeah yeah and while the boat was on its way here the containers the price went up multiple times even before it hit port so and there was no reason for that particular you know load to keep going up in price why because, supply and demand or mm -hmm. just yeah i mean i i really do think that you know unfortunately this is part of you know the way things work but people will take advantage you know and they'll just use the COVID as an excuse and say, we're not manufacturing as many as we used to, so it's going to cost more. Man. You know, then you get stuck. I mean, what are you going to do? I've halted my construction at my place. Yeah. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not till doing nothing until the vaccine and everything else is stable. Yep. I can't see, I can't see paying twice. Well, no, I know. It's so expensive. Do. Yeah. You know. I mean, I'm doing my kids' bath still. Just have to do the tile. New tub and tile. So, but. Yeah, I got all that stuff already. It's been sitting at the house for a while. So, are windows still up five six percent? Um, they are still up. Yep, yep, and taking probably double the time to get. Again. Mm -hmm. Kitchen cabinets, same thing. Mm. Yep, they used to be four to six weeks. Now eight to ten weeks. I think mechanics have gotten better. Appliances have gotten better. Have they? I think so. Okay. I haven't heard too much of that on out in the field. That people have been having a hard time. Getting it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, as of like, you know, a month or two ago, I was having a hell of a time getting yeah, stuff. Yeah. So, and I was talking to somebody just the other day. They they went over to Sabre Country Barn and bought two chairs, two leather chairs, back in back on Labor Day. They're currently expecting it maybe March before they come in. Two chairs. <laughs> That's Salem Country Barn, yeah, right. too. Well, yeah. <laughs> They're like, do you want a different chair? She's like, no, I'll wait for that one. 
And I'm like, wow. I don't get it. I don't either. I don't either. Things are just taking forever. Well, it's also when you buy them. That's that's true. Yes. Um, you know, maybe it's just me, but I've also been finding um, the only places where you could used to get lighting mm-hmm. before was just like, I mean, if you had to get, you know, lighting for your hallways and stuff like that was like Lowe's and Home Depot. Yep. Or Connecticut lighting. Yeah, that's Up it. Hartford. Well, yep. if we if we're talking Connecticut now. Yep. Yeah, that's all. That those that's are the it. three places you can go. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, or online. I'm sure, right? You Definitely. Could probably Amazon. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll give a plug to a couple of. Uh, I was just talking. I was meeting with a lady today, going over her bathroom and helping her design it, and uh, we got some lighting. And I said, I've always had a lot of good luck with rejuvenation.com. So you go on there. They've got like a lot of cool things. They do. Um, they they have some really nice things. You rejuvenation. Know, some are, yeah, rejuvenation.com. Yeah. And then the other one. You know, some people swear by them. Some people are leery of them, but Wayfair. Yeah, you can get a lot of great stuff on Wayfair for your bathrooms and kitchens. And, yep, it's a good place to start. I've seen some, I have to say, I've seen some great vanities come out of Wayfair. Yeah. I've no, seen some absolutely. great tables come out of Wayfair. Yep, yep. Yeah, they have some good good stuff. Yeah. You know, and it's, it's definitely less expensive than, you know, some of the stores, you know, mm. the, the suppliers. So. Mm-hmm. Do you know what the return policy is? I don't. I don't. That would be a good thing to find out, though, before you you buy something. Because yeah, you know, when you see it online, it looks one way. When you get it in person, it could look a different way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, that's that's always the drawback of shopping online. Mm-hmm. You know, especially if they don't have a you know, we'll guarantee you take it back within thirty days or something. You know, mm-hmm. if, if you have to pay a stocking fee or shipping fee or something like that, then it may not be worth it. Yeah. You know, unless you've seen it somewhere at somebody's house, and then you can yeah. just go buy it. Yeah. But yeah, some really good stuff. Yeah. Online shopping. Lots well, of it. Right now that's where it's all gone. Yeah. It's all you can do, you know. Well, that's all I do anymore anyways, but with, with Christmas and stuff, just online. Yeah. I really don't like going to the stores. People aren't very nice sometimes. Well, we got a we got a double whammy this year. It's just because we yep. can't. Yeah. We don't do gifts. Oh really? No, we well. First of all, we're just like let's all get together, uh-huh. have a wonderful dinner, uh-huh. and then we plan a trip. Yeah, uh, we can't do nothing. We can't nope. get together. We can't plan a trip. <laughs> nope, nope. Yeah. So I'm like, Pfft. yeah. My biggest concern is my father's flying or my father in laws flying back from Florida. Is he? Yeah, like tomorrow. Really? So I told my wife, I'm like, he's got to wear a mask. Well, he gets when he gets off the plane, he can get a COVID test right then he and there. He can, but right now in in Hartford, it's taking multiple days now to get the results back because it's been so busy. So, I'm like, he's got to wear a mask. It's supposed to be in the 50s. We'll open up windows. We got to do something. I mean, that's you know. How long is he staying for? Oh, he'll be around for a while, probably. You know, a month or two. Wait a minute. But, who's got, your father-in-law? Yeah, he's down in Florida. Dude, the one with the leg. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. <laughs> You know, like most people have legs. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about him. I no. think the COVID virus. No, COVID yeah, virus no. is afraid of him. <laughs> You're probably right, actually. <laughs> and she'd be like, Dad, what are you digging out of your throat? The COVID virus. Yeah. Leave me alone. <laughs> Give me Band-Aid. Yeah. Why, why does my father-in-law sound Russian? Because <laughs> he does. <laughs> okay. Because he's I so didn't tough. realize he was from Russia. He's so tough. Yeah. Wow. You know, I was just like, I closed my eyes. I was like, he was right there with me. <laughs> Dad, where'd you get that leg? Shut up, I found it. <laughs> what'd you do with the other one? No good. <laughs> no. All right. I thought I heard a neighbor screaming. <laughs> I, I know nothing. Shut up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Oh my god. Yeah. We get lighting. Yeah. Did you do um not anymore to go to Christmas lights? We get it. Yeah. You did? No, my wife does. My wife loves Christmas. So we're all decked out. So you do it too? You put the lights up and stuff? I don't. Oh, I'm right with you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Let me know when she's doing do it. it. Yeah. I'll come over. I'll, grab, I'll have some Jameson with you. We'll just hang out and watch you do it. You know, and she never complains. She loves it. I know. What she is just it? does it. They get in the zone. Yeah. Yeah. My mother was the same way. Yep. We had a huge basement. Really? Full of uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, stuff like that. Yeah. My mother, my mother just got into the zone, put the music on, and just hung everything. I helped when I was a little kid. Yeah, I was the guy who would bring all the boxes up. Well, that's stuff still like me that. sometimes. So yeah. yeah, but that's about all I can yeah. do. Because we can't do it right anyway. No. no. So why do we no. even bother? No. 
You ain't got nothing. You just get your pepper. Yeah. No. Why? I don't like to do things twice. <laughs> don't right. hang it there. Right. Yeah. Hang it like this. Yeah, no. she's got a vision. She does the tree every year. She does all that stuff. How many trees you got in the house? Just one. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> you guys are like Christmas exploded. I think I got 12. 12. <laughs> 12, 12. 12 Christmas trees for the 12 Did days Did you hear of that, Sheila Myers? 12. <laughs> yeah, what does Sheila have, like three two. or four? She got two. Oh, she got a gold okay. one and a yep. green one or something like that. <laughs> she got all that modern shit going yep. on there with the balls, you know, the beautiful gold balls and silver yeah, yeah, balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate yeah. her. Yeah. <laughs> and all her little bows. Yeah, and, little ball, pretty bulls, and, and you know, all that stuff, Tiffany stuff. And, 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 the, and, and the Santa pickle. Yeah, 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 yeah Santa pickle. <laughs> all that beautiful yeah. stuff. You still have your Santa pickle out? Yeah, I do. You do? All Absolutely. Right, all right. Just want to make sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> telling you. What's a designer? Always a designer. Sheila mm-hmm. Myers. Yep. yep. We haven't seen her in forever. I know. Yeah. I haven't heard for a while. No. You know, we've been really busy. Yeah, probably has been. I'm hanging my green air freshener up in my office. Oh, my, yeah? Yeah, for my Christmas. Okay. Next to my Santa pickle. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's going to look beautiful. Good me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> A lot of fires, I guess, during th- during Christmas, huh? I guess because people yeah. like to plug in the little skinny extension cords into mm-hmm. all those lights. Mm-hmm. Not good. No, not good at all. <laughs> I, I'm big on that. I got that. I got the strips with the with the uh, breaker on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The surge protector. Yeah, oh, yeah, all of them. Yep. Have to. Yeah, and you, and you just can't leave your tree on twenty four seven because it gets dried out and the lights heat up and it's not a good thing. I have to say the trees that we have are all plastic. They're all fake. Nice. They're all fake nice. green. No God, green. I would love one of those. Yeah. Yeah. You have a real one. Oh, every year. Mm. Every year. And now we've gone to the same place for years. We went somewhere else before, too. And then eventually they run out of the trees that Tanya likes. She likes the long needle. So eventually they just don't plant those as much as they plant the other ones because they're not as popular. So we just probably went our last time to this tree farm because – we couldn't find one. It was like, found one like almost in the woods. It was like outside of the tree farm. I asked the guy, I'm like, can you cut that one for me? He's like, yeah, I'll cut it for you. Have you been like, to the one in Clinton? No. There's a tree farm in Clinton. Is there? Yeah. This one was up in Groton. The one we used to go to was in Middletown, mm-hmm. which was great. I mean, they had a hot cocoa yeah. uh, you know, van there, and then they also had a guy making kettle corn and stuff, and it was really cool. The kids loved it. You know, it yeah. was a huge farm. And, but and the thing they is, just need a bar for you and me. Yeah. <laughs> the thing I loved about the one that we were in, uh, that we've been going to over in Groton, is they'll cut the tree down for you. So you just put your finger up, they come on over with the tractor, and they get out there, and they've got the uh, cordless uh, chainsaws, they cut it down for you, they put your initials on it, and you walk back and pay for it, and it's all bailed ready to go and it's like this is great yeah. but other years Jeez. you know it's just, you're laying down in the snow and you're trying to cut the thing the both like, sides ah, and it's binding ah, ah. daddy i'm cold yeah <laughs> no, i'm colder yeah yeah it was always me who was underneath the tree so yeah yeah uh, the, you must see some funny funny stuff though people put trying to tie trees to the roof of the oh, car yeah. yeah you know and they say we're not responsible <laughs> <laughs> yeah don't worry we're just gonna hold it <laughs> I love the guys driving down the highway where they got a mattress and they get, they're holding it with their hand <laughs> yep. out the window. Yep. Things yep. all folded up yep. like a freaking burrito. <laughs> yep. Stupid. <laughs> it's just like, okay, uh, yeah. I'm going to back off. I'm actually going to get off this exit and let you go a little bit further. Go grab a coffee and come back on the highway. I'm going to watch you on the side of the highway yep. trying to strap your freaking mattress down again. Uh, yeah. 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 Twine. <laughs> Put some twine on that. Sure. sure. Yeah. Come on. What do you need, really? <laughs> Why do people? Oh. <laughs> Why? Just, I know. Why? I know. I saw some. I have to say, I have to see. I saw two construction idiots. Mm-hmm. I actually have a picture of it on my on my phone. I should actually give it to Marissa. She can post it. Yep. This guy had. I swear to God, I think he had. Oh, at least he had a a truck. You know, a pickup truck, open in pickup truck. He had to have at least 10 or 11, 12 uh, stockade fence up there. Really? You know, Six-foot stockade fence. Jeez. All, you know, it's all tilts to one side. Yeah. And, the, and he drove it. He drove <laughs> it down the road and drove it. And he had a couple cinder blocks in there, too, on top oh, of it. <laughs> the leaf brackets must have been screaming. Ugh. But I said, this other idiot, 
He had ready for this. He had like nine sheets of sheet. I couldn't take a picture of it. He had like nine sheets of sheetrock on his roof racks. Oh, really? Just the sheetrock. He didn't put like two by fours down oh, on geez. the on the roof racks yeah. to support the sheetrock. Yeah, and it was like a little less ten pickup. And the freaking thing was a boop. It was all boat. Sure. So you hit a freaking speed bump, dude. Smash. It. It's yes. gone. Yes. It's going to snap right in half. Idiot. <laughs> Dummies. Idiot. They're out there. Were they in one of my vehicles? No. Okay, good. <laughs> That's why you yeah. haven't closed me and you can't tell. <laughs> right. <laughs> I got two of those. Uh, oh. <laughs> but I do have a truck. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God, dude. So, yeah. So, nice, quiet holiday this year. Yeah, I got anything too crazy, right? You seen no. your grandson though, or? Yeah, I saw him. I actually he was coming over to make cookies. And, oh, cool! Uh, I ran out. I went to work. Yeah, I had to go. I had to get away from. But work. you'll see him on Christmas. I'm going to see him on Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, okay. Yeah, All and right. then um, see him Christmas morning when he's opening up his presents from Santa. Yeah, but I was told <laughs> he's making cookies. Mm-hmm. I was told, and he and he's he's rolling out the dough. Yeah. And it was saying, like, Vela, don't eat the dough. It's because it's got eggs in the raw eggs and stuff like that. But he was looking at it, looking at it. <laughs> so he had a better idea. Uh-huh. He wasn't going to eat the cookie dough. Okay. There. <laughs> he grabbed a big ball of it. He was yep. trying to fit in his pocket. <laughs> going to put it in his pocket. <laughs> we'll take, take it, it to home. home. Yeah, take it Bring to it go. to the bedroom. Start eating it. <laughs> Vela, what are you doing? What? What? What do I want? What do I want? <laughs> Joe Pesci. Yeah. I just a show a little piece over here. <laughs> Put it in a put it in a pocket over here. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, cute. Yeah. Yep. Kids, um, kids are cute. Everyone I know is wishing for 2002 to be so much better than what we went through this year. Right. We all agree. Goodbye, good riddance. Um, yeah, I'm not necessarily sure that you know at the end of this year we should be cheering in the new year. We should just be cheering that the old one's going. Yeah. And let's wait and see if the new one pans out. <laughs> and then we can have a party. Oh, my God. I, I really, really hope so. I do, too. Yes. For many, many reasons. Yeah, that we're healthy and yep. things just get try to get back to normal somewhat yep. by the middle of the year and we can build and we can see some really great stuff happen and just be extremely positive because yep. we're all trying to hold each other up here because it's a this is a tough one, dude. This is really tough. Tough, it is. Tough, yeah. It is. You know, we still got a little bit of toughness ahead. So, yeah. Yeah. But we'll probably bring you better stories coming along. <laughs> yep. If I get Sweeney on here, he's going to tell that story. It's going to be funny. Yeah. That is really funny. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think um, in the new year, too, we got that um, the gentleman coming out about uh, composting and stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, if we can't, we got Josh who's going to come on the show okay. and he's going to. Yeah. Do how we do it yourself for composting in the spring yep. and stuff like that. Maybe I want to. I think it would be good if we we get him if we don't put him in on January, put him in February because you know people it'll be fresh in their idea. Right, right. You know what to do, what he did. I'm I'm just amazed at that whole situation. I thought it was so simple, just throw a bunch of uncooked vegetables in your fridge. Right, that's what pile. I thought too. Oh, dude, he's got it's like yeah. a science. Yeah, I mean, you throw really good eggshells in there and everything, everything. else. Yeah, oh my but God. my my in laws obviously have a compost pile at their house. But we used to go over there and get like a couple of buckets of their dirt. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, you know, your vegetables grow like crazy. Yeah. It's yeah. just I it's mean, got everything in yeah, it. Yeah, it's got all of those minerals and stuff in it. That's just amazing. Well, when we did the garden, I went to Tiffany Farms and I got like a I got like two big barrels full of cow manure. Mm-hmm. Not the wet stuff because you can't pick that up. You right. get a hernia from it. <laughs> right. But I put that out in the. Put that out in the... Oh, my God. Yeah. I have beefsteak tomatoes like... <laughs> Maron. <laughs> they can't even get mozzarella balls at me. Look at it. <laughs> yeah. Great garden with yeah. that stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. All right. Well... That's it for so me So this today. may or may not be the last show of 2020. I don't know. I think... I, I might have one in me next week. You think so? I think so. All right. All I right. think I think we didn't do it last year because of you. Yeah. 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 I, oh, my God. Yeah. I, yeah. I remember... Had a lot going on. Yeah, you did. Yeah. So, all right. Well, we'll do one more then for the year. All right. All right. I stretch out my years. On oh, my maybe finger. I'll just do the little Chucky at the end here. Yeah. So, so everybody do I need have the glasses? a Merry Christmas, everybody. Do I need the glasses? Does that make it scarier? Or? No, that looks like more. That more, looks more real. Oh, this is more real? Yeah. yeah. But this it is looks scarier. like a real serial killer. This is, no, that looks like you're trying to rob a bank. <laughs> no, 
Yeah, the glasses don't look like a So what do I need? The hat? How did uh, I look no, scary then before? Then you're, then you're Stephen King novel right there. <laughs> Forget it then. I'm out. Yeah. All right, buddy. I'll see you next week. Yeah. See you, everyone. Merry Christmas, everybody. Bye. Bye.